Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today what we're going to talk about is my collection of cold steel small folding knives. Stick around. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Welcome to my collection of cold steel small folding knives. Uh, I have a bunch of small folding knives here on the table and we'll get to that in just one second. What I really need you guys to do is to like, subscribe, share, put comments down below. That really helps the algorithm of this channel. If you want to support this channel, it's very simple. Uh, all you have to do is scroll down the description box. I have all these listed on my Amazon store. If you purchase from Amazon, I am an Amazon affiliate. Full disclosure, I get like two cents on the dollar. Or even better yet, go to threeriverblades.com, buy a custom handmade knife from me. We have a bunch of fixed blades up there and we also have an ax, which is pretty damn cool. So check it out. If you want to, you can also check out our Teespring store where we have all this merchandise. So if you want shirts, hoodies, cups, glasses, that kind of thing, we have that there as well. And you can also become a Patreon member. Patreon only costs you $1 a month. And if you subscribe, what we do is I upload all these videos that you're watching, including this one, early. So you don't have to wait for every Sunday uh, once per week to check out all these videos. They will be up there for you to like, talk about all that kind of stuff so that's great uh, also what the last thing I need you to do is to go to threeoverblades.com scroll all the way down to the bottom if you want discounts first name last name and email address I only send discount codes to my email address what you need to know also is that I have two other channels so this is three over blades we talk about blades I have three over kydex where I show you how to build custom holsters and mag pouches and med kit and also Three River Survival. Three River Survival is like my old city survivalist where we talk about survival gear, um, bug out bags, uh, reviews, kit, that kind of thing. So if you're interested in that, you can go check that out. All right, guys, enough of me jabbering. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this down so you guys can see all the small cold steel knives that I have, and we'll talk about that and we'll get to it. All right, guys, I don't have that many of Cold Steel's smaller knives, basically because I like large knives. I'm into the medium to extra large size. So what I have here, we'll go from left to right, is the Working Man knife. Very, very similar. This was a line of Cold Steel that was trying to get the most budgeted uh, type of knives that you can get. You usually got them in different colors. Now this is the Pro Light. This is the Working Man. Very, very similar design. Okay. The only difference here is this one has a more pronounced clip, where this one has a little bit more of a swedge. So I'm just going to give you a close up of that. Both of these knives are very, very cheap. You're looking about $28 shipped on amazon.com again you decide if you want something that's sort of like a beater knife a small knife that you don't care if it gets beat up lost or stolen um, very easy to use the steel on these are uh, german steel for 4116 so probably not a very high-end steel the grivery handles uh, feel a little bit plastic so you're looking at about a three and uh a 3.5 inch blade with about a four inch handle okay so it's uh the the biggest thing that they got going for it are the colors you could also get them in black um really small uh hollow grind it does have a lanyard hole in it the clip can be moved from right to left it is a tip up carry only uh, the thing that it also has going for it it's very very lightweight and it's cheap it's very affordable it does have some jimping on the top okay so this is the pro light and it has a stud mostly on the right hand side it does have a small stud on the left but it's almost too small i mean i understand it's a budget knife but why not just 
equal amount. That's really not that much of a big deal. Uh, again, I don't see these on Cold Steel's website anymore. Again, probably because of the turnover. Uh, they're mostly on Amazon.com. So you have this one in blue, which is called the Pro Light, and then you have this one in OD Green, which is called the Working Man. And this one, I believe, was designed by Steve Austin. He came up with a line of knives for Cold Steel before it was taken over by GSN. All right, pocket clip is sufficient. It does its job. And Steve Austin has this little scully thing on there, but essentially it's the same knife. All right, so pretty decent for what they are. They are beater knives, they are very small knives, and again, the color options are pretty cool. All right, so one of my favorites is the Tough Light. Uh, the Tough Light is made from an OS 8 steel made in Taiwan. It's a very small knife, but these are kind of collectible. Uh, you're looking about $23, $24 uh, per knife. They come in many different colors, which is why they're so collectible. So red, green, black, uh, really nice ergonomic handle knife. Now this is what I would consider like a box cutter, okay? Something that you would cut open a lot of boxes with. Grivery handles, again, it has this large lanyard loop in the back, which is kind of cool. Uh, it has this uh, sheep's foot design or very, very drop point. So you, you could really put some stress and pressure on there. It has jimping on the back of the knife as well as on the spine of the blade. And it's a really cool knife because of its size. So really nice triad lock so you don't have to worry about that. It's not gonna break. The only thing about this that I don't like is that it's a tip down configuration only, okay? So it does have a left and right carry, but it is tipped down. And again, this is not something that you would use for a self-defense knife. It's really just as a utility knife. Very cool, very, very lightweight. You're looking at a two and a half inch blade and it is hollow ground. So if you're looking something to throw in your camping kit or uh, something that you want to use for work every single day. The Tough Light is definitely the way to go, especially at its cost price. Uh, as of now, Amazon has these things on sale. So for $24, I mean, you can't go wrong, especially, and get the color that you like, pink, orange, brown, whatever. All right, so this one I had for a while. This is the Recon 1 in Tanto, and you can see how small this is. This, they say it's a two inch blade, but I'm telling you this is smaller than two inch blade. This is a two inch and three eighths inch handle. And ideally this is a keychain knife. Uh, what I like about these little knives, it, it does come in a Tanto tip and it does come in the standard uh, spear point, which is kind of nice. Um, they are making them now at a CPM S35V. This is an OS 8 because it is older. Uh, it does have a little mini triad lock, which is kind of cool. Uh, really nice keychain knife. I would put these in an Altoids can. So if you're somebody that's building those Altoids can, this is a really good fit. Uh, it does have G10 handles, just like its bigger brother. They don't have a designation for this. This is actually the mini. This is just a Recon 1. So it's a very, very tiny knife. Um, but for small cuts, again, like opening boxes, it will come with the loop. So if you want to put it on your keychain, you can. There is no clip on this at all. So, you know, you decide how you want to carry it. I thought it was neat for the collection. These are um, coming in around $20. Uh, this one is probably cheaper because it's OS 8. But uh, if you want the new ones, it comes with the better steel. It's going to be about $20, $21. Again, very, very cheap uh, and affordable, but a really cool small knife. Highly recommend it, especially these little tiny recons. All right, really cool. All right, guys, this is what they call the Recon Mini. This was actually just brought back uh, with the uh, new takeover of uh, Cold Steel. Uh, traditionally, this was part of the product line and they took it out uh, for the larger knives, which is the four inch version. This is a three inch version. And a lot of people liked this and wanted to bring it back. Uh, this one is made out of OS 10A, made in Taiwan. Uh, they have it in this configuration, which is more of a drop point than a clip point. So this would be, uh, and they also have it in a tanto point. Uh, what I like about this is if you're not somebody that wants the larger 
four inch version this or if you're living in a state that doesn't allow it you can get one of these these are relatively cheap um, depending on where you buy it from because they are kind of a hot item right now it's like $49 or $50 again with the better steel this is aus 10 you're going to get it a little bit cheaper uh, the g10 is very very nice well done and again for a smaller pocket size knife you can't beat this it does has the standard belt clip that would be on the four inch model which is kind of neat so it does give you a lot of uh, pocket space or pocket um, retention uh, in my, the G10 has been toned down quite a bit, which is nice. So it's not, not such a pocket ripper. You can, ha it's tip up only. You can have it on the left side or on the right side. And of course it comes with that, um, triad lock has a little bit of jimping on the back and it has more of a satin finish on these. So really nice. Again, this is the mini. This doesn't have any designation. I call it the keychain but you can see the size, all right? This is less than two inches, this is three inch. All right, really nice Recon Ones. Again, I'm a big fan of Cold Steel Recon Ones. This is the mini, highly recommended, and also get it in that great steel. All right, guys, the next design is the Steve Austin Collaborative. Um, this is the Broken Skull. Uh, they came in a bunch of different colors. If you can find them, they're probably discontinued. I haven't seen them anywhere. I do have one or two on Amazon. Uh, really nice G10, four inch handle, uh, four inch blade steel. This is the CTS SHP um, steel. It does have a clip point. It is powder black. Most of them will come in a powder black. And then what they did is they changed the uh, color codes to the handle, which is really nice. Jimping on the back of it. What I like about this is that it's very, very thin. Okay, it's a very, very thin, long knife. And this is something that you can carry in your pocket and probably forget it's there. Uh, again, I like the bright colors. The blue is really nice. They had green, they had orange, they had black, obviously. Uh, if you can find one, great. They're probably gonna be on the secondary market because they're very hard to find. They, they're no longer doing uh, the Steve Austin knives. Uh, the clip is sufficient, not a pocket ripper, which is nice. Uh, left or right side only and tip up carry only. So good steal. Right now I saw one on Amazon for about $80. I don't think it's worth $80, but again, if you want it, it's up there. And just check the secondary market. Nice contours and a really nice thin, but large profile knife. So I like it. All right, the next one I'm a big fan of. This is the Lone Star. Hunter, all right. Um, they went out of stock with these and then they restarted making them when GSN came in. Uh, has a faux style of stag, which is kind of cool. Most of this is stainless steel construction. Uh, the blade itself, I think, is OS 8A, so it's decent blade steel, very large clip point. You have a four inch blade length and about a five inch handle. Really nice. Uh, I think some of them were made with a belt, um, a belt pouch, which was kind of cool because obviously this is a hunting knife. Wanted more of that Texas feeling or Texas style. Really nice blade. It still has a very good lock. The um, clip is decent. Uh, left side, right side, tip up carry only. But I think this kind of fits that niche of that old world or old style kind of grandpa knife that he always had on his person. And I do like the fact that if you didn't get the belt clip, you still have, uh, I'm sorry, the belt pouch, you would have a, a clip on there. Uh, I haven't really used this a lot, but it does have a very nice crisp opening. So I'm a big fan of that. Uh, they used to sell for like 40, $50. If you can find them now, Blade HQ doesn't have them. You might have to find these on the secondary market. And if you do, obviously it's going to be more money, but highly recommend. I'm a big fan of that. If you're not looking for a tactical knife, uh, Cold Steel makes them also really good hunting knives. All right. The next knife is the AK 47. It's, this is actually uh, a really cool knife. One of my favorites. This one happens to be made out of OS 8A, but the new ones are made out of, uh, S35VN, that seems to be the norm. Uh, it's a really cool knife. They also make this in a fixed blade. So if you want a fixed blade, I would recommend that as well. 
This one comes uh, in, I think it's a three and a half, three and a half inch blade. So it's not that big. The Recon ones are a little bit longer blade style, but the handle itself is kind of unique. If you look at it, it has this metal piece that comes out to the back and it also, it goes all the way around. So you can use that as a hammer. Um, you could also use that as a pommel strike. It does have a considerable lanyard loop in the back, very grippy G10. And I can tell you, once you put your hand in here, it's not coming out. So really, really nice style there. It also has the pocket gripper. So if you needed to deploy this in a hurry, you can. Again, coated. This happens to be the clip point, although it's more of a drop point. Uh, really nice style knife. It's a little bit different. Uh, the handle is quite large compared to the blade. Again, that's why I kind of like my recons, but this is this is nothing to uh, joke about. This is actually selling for about $111. It's actually a little bit more money than the recons. Tip up only configuration where it, the clip left or right side. Again, this in the back, this metal piece in the back, uh, it probably gives it a little bit more stability and it's more of a military knife. Obviously, AK-47, if you don't know, is a rifle uh, that most people use in third world countries and it has to be made tough. So obviously, the knife kind of fits that role too. And the fixed blade is really cool too. I don't have the fixed blade, but I would recommend that as well. All right, the Lawman. The Lawman is kind of a cool favorite. Uh, you're looking at three and a half inch blade and a four inch handle. Uh, as you can tell, the scales are very, very simple, but they are rounded, which makes this a very, very comfortable knife. They are beveled. They are very, very comfortable. Uh, what most people need to understand is that what most law enforcement or lawmen use their knives for is mostly for rescue. Uh, it's not for trying to stab people. That's, that's a little more of a military thing. So you can go a little bit easy on the contours of the blade. Again, what's cool about this is it does have this secondary finger choil. So if you needed to choke up, you can. And again, three and a half inch blade is legal in most states. So you don't have to worry about that. It does come to a nice drop point. Now this one is probably made of OS 8 because it was an older style. The new ones are made of S35VN. So you're looking at a little bit more expensive. It would be like a $70 or $80 knife, but very, very comfortable and lightweight, which is what uh, most law enforcement officers look for. This has a very grippy G10 handle. Uh, the clip again is like all the other clips of cold steel tip up configuration only and you can put the pocket clip on left or right side so really nice blade uh, the thumb studs are mostly right handed if you can see there and you can take it out and reverse it if you want I'll show you that on most cold steels you can so if you look right here it has a slot so you can take that out and reverse the thumb studs but again it's made mostly for one hand opening okay so if you look at that big fan of the law man really nice. all right guys last but not least is the a spotter small um i checked around it's very difficult to find any a spotter smalls i don't know if they're going to be bringing it back but what's really cool about this blade is it's the smallest of the line of espadas. So you have the XL, which is what I showed you on the last video. You have the large, uh, the medium, and this is the small. And it is really small. It only has one handheld, but it's kind of cool the way it's shaped. If you see this shape right here, it makes it very easy to just put it in the palm of your hand and you know it's not gonna fall out, especially with that sloping design. Uh, it's the same cold steel clip that all the others have. This is uh, CTSSXHP. Uh, it is coated and I think the blade length is about three and a half, uh, depending three and a quarter as far as cutting surface. It does not have any jimping on the back, but it has like this little liner that could be considered that. Um, the G10 is very grippy, so you don't have to worry about it slipping out of your hands. 
uh, hollow grind, clip point. It kind of is the baby brother. It looks a little different. They used to sell them in different colors. So I snapped up the brown and black because I thought that was the most unique. They did have black and black and I don't remember if they had any other colors. I don't know if they're gonna bring this knife back, but if you can find one, I would definitely pick it up. Uh, they used to sell on Blade HQ for about $100 or a little bit more, but really, really nice small blade. I have EDC'd this before because it's just a really nice conversation piece. It doesn't look like any of the other small blades that Cold Steel makes. And again, it's definitely something to talk about maybe at your barbecue or I don't know, wedding or whatever, wherever you're going. Uh, again, this has the one thumb stud on one side. And then if you need to change it around, you can unscrew it and then put it on the other side. It's mostly set up for right-handed users. And again, uh, clip, I'm sorry, blade up, uh, only position, clip right, and then you could use it and switch it out on the left. But uh, really cool design. I'm glad they came out with the small one. I wish Cold Steel would bring this back uh, in, in all the different color configurations because I think a lot of people are not cool with carrying a 16 inch sword in their pocket, but they would definitely carry one of these. So I'm a big fan of those. So let me, uh, let me bring the camera back up and we'll finish up. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed my Cold Steel uh, small folding knife collection. I do have other collections uh, like Spyderco and uh, ZT and a whole bunch of other great stuff. So if you're interested in that, put the comments down below. I'll definitely look into doing those videos. And as always, like I said, please like, subscribe, share this video, put some comments down below. It helps the algorithms and go to threeriverblades.com if you want to support this channel. Thank you very much, guys. And as always, please stay safe.